Another tool that SpectreOS gives us is the what we call Zoom Box. Since the wireless LAN receiver and its occupied bandwidth is the area of interest, let's go ahead and draw a Zoom Box uh, around that portion of the spectrum. And when I release that, uh, we see just the LAN carrier with occasionally this frequency hopper showing up uh, relatively close, but certainly not overlapping the LAN receiver. But if I zoom in again, then indeed what I start to see the upper frequency of a pair of frequency hoppers, one of which seems to have hopped in uh, to the occupied bandwidth of the LAN receiver. So a feature of SpectroX allows me to place markers on either side of a portion of the spectrum recording that I'm interested in and to export that delimited data to a file format that is usable by Agilent uh, 89600 uh, vector signal analysis software. I see a very clean constellation, the 64 area QAM uh, wireless LAN console, symbol constellation and very clean uh, pilot tones. But if I allow this to move forward in time, up close to 1.6 milliseconds, all of a sudden, here's the lower frequency hopper and theoretically, the other hopper buried in the, in the power spectrum. And sure enough, the constellation has taken a major hit and the pilot tones have lost lock. So now the question is how to identify exactly what uh, is this frequency hopper? Does it have a unique fingerprint that we can record and use for future reference should it show up again? So one way we can do this, since it's not a standard carrier, we can go ahead and use what's called the carrier search. I can take the very large number of results from just the carrier search and intelligently prune them down and go ahead and run the search. What I find is a very consistent um, bandwidth, duration, and power level. Bring it into Excel and plot it, the frequency of the, of the found carrier against time throughout the file, I get a very distinct fingerprint that I can record graphically and use it in the future.